Topic 1. Measurement. Part 1 or video 1. How do we measure? How do we measure? Let's look at it in detail. Physics involves measuring physical quantities. A physical quantity is any measurable quantity. For example, the length of a rod, the time taken to run 50 meters, and so on. Every measurement involves a unit. For example, meters is a unit for length. Seconds is a unit for time. We use the SI system of units. SI is standing for System International. In other words, we use the international system of units. And there are three very basic SI units that you should be familiar with. Mass, length and time. Mass in kg or kilograms. Length in meters or in time in seconds or s. Some common prefix multipliers. Prefix here means a letter that comes before another letter. We have some examples here. The first one is micro. The symbol for it is the Greek letter mu, but we say micro. And the meaning of it is one millionth. In other words, one over a million. The example is microsecond. One microsecond is one millionth of a second. Next one is milli, m, is a thousandth, one of a thousand. Example is millimeter. There are a thousand millimeters in one meter. Next one is centi, c, a hundredth. Example is centimeter. Next one is kilo, or k, that means a thousand. Example is kilometer. There are a thousand meters in a kilometer. Last one is mega. Capital M means a million. The example is megawatt. One megawatt is a thousand watts. Use of rules. Rules here means rulers. Rule or ruler. When you use a ruler or a rule to measure a dimension, that like the length of an object, there are two things you have to watch out for. Firstly, parallax error. That means when you take a reading from a ruler, make sure your eye is directly above the mark that you are reading. For example, this mark here is 5 that the eye is trying to read. So the eye is directly above that mark, not reading it from an angle. This, one, this position is wrong. The other thing you have to watch out for is called zero error. That means when you use a ruler to measure the length of an object, like this one here is the object, that's a ruler, make sure you measure from zero. This ruler here is clearly not from zero. The, the edge of this object is not in line with the zero line. This one is not from zero either. So both of these are wrong. So beware of that. Use of measuring cylinders. When you take reading of the water level in a measuring cylinder like this, make sure you take the reading of the bottom of the meniscus. Accuracy of measurements. All measurements have a limit of their accuracy. For example, a ruler measures to the nearest millimeter because that's the smallest division on the ruler. A thermometer measures to the nearest half a degree. A stopwatch measures to the nearest hundredth of a second, or two decimal places. Important rule about using a ruler. When you use a ruler to measure the length of an object, always quote the measurement to the nearest millimeter, but express in centimeters. Here is an example. The length of a pin, L, is equal to 13.4 centimeters. Express in centimeters, but quote it to the nearest millimeter. 0.4 here means 4 millimeters.